Hey guys, what's going on? James here back with the income journey and in today's video, we're going to be going through how to build or create printables for Etsy completely from scratch. Now, in the past couple of weeks, I've been showing you guys a few digital product Etsy stores that are absolutely crushing it with printables. And even in my last video, I showed you how to put together a simple printable using assets from Creative Fabrica. But in this video, I wanted to show you a completely different niche, which is really popular and does really well, especially if if you're a little bit creative and can come up with some cool concepts yourself. So what we're going to be talking about today is the planner niche. And this spreads, you know, pretty broadly to a lot of different things such as just daily planning, which is what I'm going to show you how to build out here today. Super, super easy, even if you've no graphic design experience, but it also expands to stuff like fitness planning or financial planning. These stores dominate just by selling a wide range of niches and just different planners for these types of you know, events or life goals that people are going after. So in this video, I'm gonna start from scratch. I'll show you a couple of examples on Etsy of stores that are doing well here at the start. And then I'm gonna go through again from scratch, showing you step by step. I'm not gonna edit any of this down or cut any of it out because I want you to see the exact moves that I'm making inside the program that we're going to be using that most of you probably have on your computer already. It's not Photoshop, Canva, anything crazy like that. It's even simpler. So let's go ahead, jump in. I'll show you a couple of stores that are doing this really, really well. And then I'll show you how you can create these in probably under 10 minutes, maybe under 15 minutes. And especially once you get good at it, you'll be able to knock these out so, so quick. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. If you do enjoy it, you'll like these design kind of, you know, tutorials on how to create these type of products for Etsy, where you don't even have to do POD or anything like that. Let me know in the comments hit the like button and hit subscribe. So right here on Etsy, I've done a quick search for printable planner right here. And you can see there's tons of options come up. People love to buy these, print them off and utilize them. Uh, and you can see here, we've got everything from like a blog post planner to a home management binder. You know, this is stuff that I didn't even think of when I was saying a minute ago. Here we've just got, you know, a calendar, a girl boss empire. So there's tons of different things. You got fitness, you know, you got wedding planners, all of this and some of these stores just absolutely crush it even if they're fairly new i've done some stores like i think the biggest uh you know store on etsy is called planner kate i'm not sure if she actually sells the planners or it's just digital but she absolutely crushes it so you can see here lots of stores selling these this one is 3,000 reviews right here 700 reviews lots of different stores coming up in the results that are doing well so that's the type of products that you can build out and i remember looking at these a couple of weeks ago uh seeing them and saying like flip that text a bit of time, takes a bit of effort to create one of these, but you can actually do it fairly quickly uh, by using PowerPoint. Now, tons of you guys probably have PowerPoint. You've probably used it before. Uh, I know I have in school or just in my job, I had to use PowerPoint for different things. So we're going to use PowerPoint in this video. And I normally I would do, you know, kind of that design work or digital work inside Photoshop, but PowerPoint is actually super, super easy. So just before I started recording, I actually went ahead and created this from scratch just to give me an idea of what I was gonna be creating for you guys so that you can see. So this is the design that we're going to be creating. Again, it's a simple design for a weekly planner here, but it looks nice. When you put it all together, you print this off, it looks kind of cutesy, it looks nice. You could change the color of all these. We'll you know, show you some different examples whenever we can you know, make the boxes rounded, how you know that makes it different, how we change the colors. That makes it look a little bit different as well. And you can create, once you've created this once, you know, you can have a listing on Etsy. You know, you could do a weekly planner here. It could be a wedding planner. And it will be a very similar layout, maybe just with some simple changes. So once you've created one, you can start to create lots of different designs off that one design very, very quickly. So let's go ahead and jump into the designing aspect of this. And again, let me know if you guys enjoy these videos because sometimes they don't get as many views, but let me know down in the comments if you like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new slide here uh, and start from scratch. So what I'm gonna do is right click here, click a new slide in PowerPoint. If you're just coming into PowerPoint from scratch, you just go up to the top left, it'll probably prompt you to create a new one, but just come up here, click new and you're pretty much good to go. So I'm just gonna delete all of the boxes that we have here on the screen and we're starting on a completely blank canvas. So let's go ahead, get started with designing here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just start adding in our shapes for the left-hand side here. You can see I've split it out by seven days. It's a fairly you know basic kind of planner that you would see. You can see this in lots of different planners out there, but just all of the days of the week down the side. So the first thing I wanna do is insert right here. Just before I do that, I'm actually gonna to go to the view tab and this will make making sure everything is proportionally uh, looking good. 
a little bit easier. So I'm going to put in grid lines here and you can see that now gives us these squares that we can utilize. And then I'm going to put in guides and that will give us our center line and horizontal line. So next thing is come over here to insert shapes, click on shapes, and then I'm going to click uh, just on the rectangle here as that's what we want to start with. So I'm just going to click, drag that one in and I'm going to start about here just in this center and start dragging this box out. So I'm probably going to have it a little bit over to the edge a little bit closer and you'll see what happens here as we start to create more of these so i'm going to drag it out i want to bring it probably not right into the center line but just a little bit in the middle here uh, and we're just going to leave it like that what we're going to do now is change the color of this box because we're going to be copying and pasting this so we want to make sure that we have the color changed before we do that so you can see over here on the right hand side we get this format shape box if you don't have that you can right click and click on format shape and this box will pop up over here so what we're going to do is click here and we're going to do a solid fill and then we can choose the color right here so i'm just going to do it the same color as we did in the previous one this kind of light orange right here and you can see we have a little outline around it i don't want that outline so i'm going to come over here to line and just click no line on that box and now we have a box here on our screen now i'm going to copy and paste so just Control c on your laptop Control v to paste it again and then we start to get these lines popping up to help us kind of position you know our, our box right here whereas if you're doing this in photoshop and some, or something like that you might not have them lines or guides to help you so again just going to copy this and do it seven times and you can see now i've got three it shows us exactly where to place this to have the same size gap between each box to make sure everything is consistent and look really good once we are done so again just going to copy and paste this seven times making sure it looks good so let's just get them lines in there make sure they pop up and once they pop up you know you're good to go so i think that's seven now i want to three four five six seven so with these nice little squares or boxes in here if you do want to resize them you can highlight them all by shift clicking so if you hold shift click on each of these boxes it will highlight them all at the same time and that will allow you to actually go ahead and you know make them a little bit bigger here if you feel you have enough room to make them a little bit bigger you can go ahead and do that so now these boxes are slightly bigger i'm just going to drop them down a little bit here and that's pretty much it now we have our boxes down that left hand side next thing we want to do is go ahead and add in each day of the week into these boxes so i'm going to go ahead and do that that's super easy just insert uh, and then we want to insert text so we're going to grab a text box right here i'm going to paste that in here oh so if you click in the box it will in fact do that so let's just create it up here for now and then i'm going to type in monday i've got the font selected as calibri here you can go ahead and select whatever you want maybe you want to do lato or you want to find some fonts creative fabric is a great place to get you know tons and tons of fonts that you can use in your designs so we've got monday right here let's copy and paste that and you can see as i put it into the next box it formats it the same way it like puts it in that exact same space that the monday is uh, but for the tuesday we're left aligned here as well making sure it stays the same distance away from the edge of the box so just going to type in tuesday right there again going to copy paste let's do wednesday that's not actually lined up correctly but we'll adjust in a second so you can see once we pull that in everything starts to all the way arrows come up guiding us so i'm going to go ahead maybe speed this up in the video as i just put these days in so we now have all of our days of the weekend here i do think that they look slightly kind of dark and maybe big and thick so i'm going to make them all a little bit smaller again shift clicking them highlights them all and then we can come up here to the size maybe drop that down to like a 14 or so uh, and we can flick through the fonts to see what looks best uh, for it but i'm actually going to leave that until the end and then we can switch fonts and stuff when everything is in here and then we can see which one looks best next thing i'm going to do again is just copy this box paste it over here and i'm going to create that note section at the bottom so i'm going to drag that up make it right to the size of two boxes right here so that's a nice little note section again keeping it the same width away from the edge on the right as these boxes are on the left here again just keeping consistency with everything then we're going to copy this section here and do notes up here so let's just type in notes good to go there and then this is probably the hardest part you're going to have about all of this so right here i'm going to do we'll do this little week of section so then the person can you know say what week it is whenever they're creating their design uh, and then we just have to do the little lines that you know people can write on for different goals etc etc so this is week of 
Beautiful. Copy that. And then the next thing we have is our weekly goals section in here. So again, you can create these for different things and it's going to be different in all of them. But this is just a cool place to start. You know, I'll give you an easy example to go after. So we've got weekly goals. I think that needs to be dropped down quite a chunk right here just to space things out nicely. Make sure everything is level. Uh, so I think we want that to be right at the edge of the box. So let's make sure this one is as well. Let's leave that there. And then it looks like these are all lined up. So next thing we want to do is now create these little boxes right here. And this bit, you know, it's a little bit kind of tricky. So what I like to do is copy this box here, put it in one of these squares so we can see exactly uh, it's a square. And then what we can do is shift click on this right hand corner here and just drag this in. So I think I messed that up there. So let's go back to the, this bit. And then let's shift click, drag that in and make it a really small square. So we can actually control uh, and zoom in right here to see if that looks correct. And it looks like it is. So what I'm going to do now is just create these little boxes and add the lines below it to make things look nice. So again, probably something like that, give them a little bit of room to write in there. And then we do the next one again, just making sure that lines are coming up, making sure everything is even. So let's scroll back out. Things are looking good. Now we need to insert a line. So come up here to insert, come over to our shapes again, simply just using a line shape. Uh, and I'm going to just drag it from below this box right here. And you can see it's coming up a blue line. We don't want the blue line. So what we're going to do is come over here, change our color and just change that to gray or black, or you can change it to whatever color you want. So I'm just going to knock that down a couple of lines. Again, I just want to zoom in a little bit here so I can see a little bit more detail to make sure we're getting this all lined up correctly. So I don't want it to be uh, coming into that tickler. So I'm going to move it over to the right a little bit. So I think that looks about good there. I do want to thicken these lines up a little bit as well. So you can come up here to width. I'm going to bump that up to like a 0.1 or a one point line, copy that, paste it. And then again, we can just drop it down in here, making sure it's in the same place. You can actually use the arrow keys on your keyboard to get it accurate. Uh, if you are, you know, having a little bit of trouble with it. And again, copy paste, come here. Things are looking good. So we want to make sure these are actually lined. So now we've got those lines in there looking the way we want them. So next up is just this to do section here in the middle. Again, very, very similar to the section we have here for weekly goals. So I'm just going to copy this again, drag it in, make sure everything's lined up. Call this to do right here. And then what we're going to do is copy this. So you can highlight anything on the page. Again, control C, that's going to copy it. I'm going to drag this down. Put it right about here again again making sure everything is kind of spaced out the same it's the same width from the middle uh, as these boxes are but now we need to change these so for this we obviously want these boxes to look a little bit different we want them to have the kind of no fill style so i'm just going to go up here to no fill that will completely kind of remove everything until we add a solid line in again i'm going to change this line to probably that gray is fine and then we can take a look and see how that looks. I think this should be a little bit thicker. So I'm going to bump up the, uh, the width of these, put it up to maybe 1.5. And I think things are looking a little bit better at that size. So next up, we're going to highlight all of this again, copy and paste this, just bringing it all down, making sure everything is lined up nicely, copy paste again, and just fill in everything here to make sure that it is working. So copy paste. We're not going to be able to fit them all in here. So we might just have to delete these probably just this bottom one uh, would look good. And that's us essentially finished with the main graphic. So people can come in here, they can add in their to do list, it looks kind of weird with these lines over it. So let's go ahead, go to view, turn off these guides and grid lines. And you can see things are looking a lot nicer when we turn them off. The last thing we need to do here is just add in our little, you know, kind of title here for whatever it is you're creating. So you can see here, I've just got a box again, and then weekly planner over it in a nice font. So if you want to get a nice font to use on this, and I think this is really what makes these stand out like this is super, super simple. But when you add a nice font to it, things look really, really good. So you can see here over on creative fabrica, they actually have a font section, you can go ahead and look for anything you want in here like this winter snow one, I think looks kind of 
nice might look work, look good on a planner uh this ashley one there's tons and tons of fonts in here you can download you can get 35 percent off using my discount code down in the description cost you about 20 dollars a month but that gets you access to everything on creative fabrica that you can use on your product so i've actually went ahead and downloaded a font from here it's actually called about love i believe and we're going to use that in this planner so you can see here when i search it uh, i think that's it over here on the right hand side the about love font so let's head back to powerpoint and what i'm going to do again is just add in well let's actually copy and paste one of these boxes so we've got our box up here at the top this one's going to be a little skinnier uh make sure it's nice and centered in the middle right there come over insert a text box again so i'm going to insert that just here i'm going to type in weekly planner and it looks like we've got capital l there we don't want that so we've got the l i'm going to highlight all of this and we are going to type in about love just grab that font and things start to look a lot nicer so we need to make that font obviously much much bigger i'm going to make it probably about like a 54 or so drag this out and now we have a really really nice looking planner and i believe that took us about probably 10 to 15 minutes or so that's it pretty much good to go you could literally sell this right now you probably want to create a pack so multiple other things in here uh but this is a really good starting point so let me just show you if you want to go ahead and switch some stuff up again if you get some really nice fonts you like and you want to use them well we can highlight all of the text boxes here again just shift click 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 highlight all the text you want to keep things congruent make sure the text the same throughout the document but we've right clicked all of these so now we can just come to this drop down here and kind of play around and see what it looks like so obviously this about love font if everything's capitalized it looks horrible but we can see here what it looks like with lato we can see corbel light i kind of like that one i think that looks good uh, i think this one actually looks kind of nice as well uh this one looks kind of nice i actually really like that especially for like you know kind of school and stuff i think it looks kind of nice uh and that's pretty much it good to go let's change around some of these so if we change the color scheme so let me see if i can just grab that back one so we might need to move this over a little bit and highlight all of our boxes and just switch up the colors to see if things look you know nicer maybe in a different color uh in a different shade of orange i've went ahead and missed all of them so highlight 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 click click and click that last one we can't get them all here let's see can we get it there we go there we go right so we've got all of our boxes now so we can come over here to the right hand side again just in format shape and we can play around and see what looks nice so does it look nice in yellow it actually kind of does i kind of like the yellow vibe uh we can switch it over we can do it in like a blue again i think that looks great as well things really start to come together when you play around with this stuff so I think it looks really nice especially in the blue here you can see you could probably flick through these documents just copy and pasting different styles uh you could maybe sell you know different ones you could sell a pack of different colors so yeah that's how you go ahead and create these printables inside powerpoint now i think this is a really easy way to do it you could do it in photoshop but honestly i think this is probably easier uh and yeah if you guys do enjoy these tutorials you want to see more of them let me know down in the comments hit that like button if you enjoyed the video hit subscribe if you are new here and make sure to go ahead and check out one of these other videos on the screen right now and i'll see you guys in the next one